never know when some, a situation is going to present itself where life is literally in the balance, and you have to make that decision whether you're going to act, whether you're going to intervene. And, and in this case, we're very fortunate that Sergeant Ricaldi did just that. Um, as uh, was mentioned, uh, Sergeant Ricaldi on 4th of July was uh, with his brother. They were enjoying some time on Lake Lanier. Uh, Lake Lanier uh, has the unfortunate reputation of claiming more than 500 lives since it was built in 1956. Uh, the visibility is very poor in the water. There's a lot of underwater obstacles. So uh, we had a, a situation where a couple on a jet ski, uh, somehow that, that jet ski got flipped over and, and they were both in the water and neither one of them was wearing a, a life vest. And so um, Sergeant Ricaldi and his brother were looking for a place to park their jet skis. They saw uh, the folks on onlookers on the beach, you know, looking at the couple, but you know, nobody was intervening. And so he went over there, he saw that the, the male uh, in this case was really struggling, was exhausted, barely keeping his head above water. And so without any regard to his own safety, he moved his jet ski uh, over there. Uh, got in the water to help the guy get him up uh, on onto the jet ski. Uh, and one thing that kind of stood out to me through this entire thing was uh, that all the bystanders, man. Uh, I, I saw I saw some uh, shoes floating in the water, and I saw a crowd, and that's kind of just what it's like. Hey, that's not okay. Like something's wrong. Uh, but everybody on the shore was just video recording with their phones and stuff like that. And I like know that. Without a doubt, none of you guys here would have done that. You guys would have intervened and done the same thing. So uh, that's refreshing. And yeah, that's all. I feel like I did it just what anybody else would do in that situation. Um, not necessarily a hero. Uh, There's a lot of people who were just standing by and they weren't intervening and I was just the guy that uh, got the call and felt like I needed to. And I responded, intervened, and did what I thought was best in the situation.